uh, low swear back in this side, we have a nice laptop to repair. MacBook Pro. It is MacBook Pro, a nice laptop. It is. It's out of metal. You know, you can, uh, people, they are uh, collecting metal stuff and, uh, and you can scrap it and you can make some money. <laughs> Hello, swear back. And this time we have a nice laptop to repair. MacBook Pro. Hmm? It is MacBook Pro a nice laptop? Yeah, it is. It's looking nice. Now let's see what the customer is saying. The customer is saying, MacBook Pro that is not turning on, customer opened the back and saw a burn component. Huh? This is a smart customer, huh? So I'm pretty curious, what can be the burn component of this MacBook? I mean, I will not plug the power. I will say, let's open and check to see what the, the customer spot there on the motherboard. Okay, so the laptop, it's open. That's the burn component. Uh, that's a coil. I mean, yeah, it's looking weird. Check there. I mean, I never seen a coil like that. Yeah, quite weird. Why a coil? It'll get hot. Let's check the main power rail. So the main power rail, we have a fuse there somewhere. Zero ohms. <laughs> what do you think about that? Zero ohms on the main power rail. Yeah. So what can I say? Here we have a shorted uh, main power rail. Customer spotted the coil. I believe this is the charging coil, if I remember. The coil is not shorted to ground, so that's the normal, uh, normal color of the coil. Obviously, it's not shorted to ground because it has a MOSFET on the front. Yeah. And the MOSFET is good because otherwise uh, I will have short even on the coil. So nothing wrong with the coil. Okay, I will say like usual, I mean, this is a shorted motherboard. Uh, I will say let's lower the voltage on the power supply. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, 0 0.9. We have ground. Good. And what the current? The current is too much, right? Yeah. Let's lower the current. So let's come with the current on the fuse. Good, it's taking two amps, you can see. Let's wait. And... What is burn? Nothing. What is that? Check there. There is something, you can see it? Check there, there, exactly there. Here. It's a capacitor, I can't believe. It's a capacitor. Let's have a look close about, uh, let's have a look close to this capacitor. Lol, check here, so this capacitor goes so hot, actually melt the, the connector here. You can see? LOL, Doji Capacitor. So what is the solution? Say hello to my little friend. Huh? That's the solution? No, we can't. It's a MacBook and the customer probably is watching the video. Huh? And that sucks. I mean, I prefer to just get rid of the capacitor, because here we have a plastic connector. So how do you want me to replace this capacitor? Huh? Where are the people here doing soldering? How do you replace this capacitor with a plastic connector next to it? How you are doing it? There is no way I can isolate this 
to replace this capacitor. This board is sucking the heat badly. And now you'll see people on the chat. Yeah, sorry, told you. Soldering tweezers. Yeah, I know, I know. And you know what? I just spoke today on the live stream, it's Sunday, about soldering tweezers. And I said, you know what? I don't have a reason to use the soldering tweezer, but here, there is no way I can remove or replace that capacitor without soldering tweezers. So let me grab the soldering tweezers. Huh? We have soldering tweezers. Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's see what we can do there. Just a little bit of rust influx. Perfect. Now let's heat up the capacitor. Now, about the battery disconnection, the battery is disconnected. And the moment you have a short on the battery, uh, the battery power management chip, it will disconnect the battery. The way how to activate the battery is to plug the charger and charge the battery. Eh? So the moment you plug the charger, that's the moment when the battery is getting activated. So on a case like this, uh, uh, it's okay, you know, if uh, we have the battery connected. You know what? Actually, I never used the soldering tweezers, so this is the first time. I'm like kind of a beginner here with the soldering tweezer. I can melt here the solder, you can see, but not here on the other side, here, because here is ground. So I will hire the temperature on the soldering tweezer. Come on, it's supposed to come out, yeah? And the capacitor is coming out? I mean, the solder is melted, I can see it. Yeah, it is coming out. We took out the capacitor, I can't believe. Yeah. We took out the capacitor, but we left uh, a little a little bit from the capacitor on the motherboard. Here is fine. Let me use some uh, 180 degree solder wire. Perfect. Rossin. Perfect. Let's try to find another capacitor. Another capacitor from a MacBook board. Yeah, that seems to be fine, that one. This one is same from the main power rail, looks fine. When you rush in, possible. A pretty cool tool. Come on. Nah, I'm no good at this. Okay, let's come with hot air. Perfect, so we took out the capacitor. Let's solder the capacitor here. Hmm. 
So how do I know when it's older? Let me dip the capacitor on Rosin. Perfect. Let's clean. The capacitor is looking dodgy? No, the capacitor is looking fine. Is looking perfect or not? Huh? Just say it. That capacitor is looking perfect. Huh? Original Mac capacitor. Good, let's plug the charger and see what it's doing. Do we still have a short on the main power rail? We can check that. So the main power rail from here, no short, you can see, no short. Probably it's not coming on because the battery is disconnected like how I said. No, no, no. It's disconnected, we have to plug the charger. So, plug in the charger. And the meter, it is coming on. 20 volts! And it's getting reset. 600 milliamps. The fan is spinning. Let's see, we have picture. We have picture, that's crazy, okay. Yeah, I have to edit the video now. We have picture, but the battery has an X on it. You can see that X, and it's not charging. So what is the original fault have anything to do with the battery? I believe this is a second fault. I mean, okay, we replace this capacitor which was here, but indeed this coil, it's, it's heated a lot, and uh, we have a hot coil, which is not hot, but anyway, you can see it was hot before, and it's not charging, so this has to be linked somehow. So if I'm taking out the charger, the laptop is going off. Good. Okay. Let's check, uh, let's check, uh, we can't check anything. We have an X, that's when the battery is not speaking with the... Uh, it's not speaking with the, with, the, with the SMC chip. Okay, let's try a reset. The reset means we are disconnecting the battery. Wait, this was not even plugged in. This was not plugged in. So probably someone took out this cable and the SMC chip is speaking using this cable with the with the battery lol you see that's what's happening when someone is uh, you know opening the laptop Eight hundred, nine hundred milliamps check that 900 one amp 1.1, 1 huh? 1.2, 1.3. 1 you see, the battery starts charging. Two amps, yeah, check that, two amps. Two amps, you can see, pressing the power button. 2.7 amps, just to understand. So someone took out that cable. Pressing the power button, so why the laptop is not coming on? Because the battery is low, lol, yeah. 
Yeah, the battery is low and uh, that's the reason why it's not coming on. Oh, it is coming on. Yeah, so you can see, taking like 2.5 amps, the laptop it is coming on. Let's see the charging sign. Reset the password. I don't want to reset the password. What do you mean? Reset the password. No. Restart. Good. And the laptop is coming on. It's taking like 2.7 amps. And we have the charging sign on the screen. Yeah, it's charging. So we don't have the X anymore. 2.8 amps, you can see. And this coil... It is hot, but that's fine. This is the charging coil. I mean, I can't see any problem with that coil. Okay, good. So we fix it. Now, I swear this is the first time using the, the soldering tweezer. Um, I don't like them. I mean, I prefer 100% to use the hot air uh, instead of soldering tweezer. But if you have a case like this with a capacitor next to a connector, uh, you can see this is like, we, this save us a lot of time, you know, like taking the board out, then isolating that. And even if you isolate, uh, the Kapton tape, is, it will still radi radiate the, the heat. So you are not safe uh, even with the Kapton tape. But yeah, sometimes looks like they are good. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. If you have those kind of uh, faults, like, you know, the laptop suddenly dying, you can have a look for a dodgy capacitor. So thank you for watching. You know, just like, subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.